And in less than three weeks, thousands of runners will take to the streets for this year's London Marathon. Now, Gareth Rees was paralysed during a rugby match in 2011 and is among ten participants using specially adapted wheelchairs to be pushed round the course by teams of up to four people. Uh, Gareth joins us now alongside his cousin and teammate, Darren. Uh, morning, guys. You're getting some last-minute training in there. Good morning. <laughs> That's it, yeah, exactly. How does this all work? So just to explain, we, we explained a little bit about why you're doing it, but this is a great pairing um, and not many people will do it in this way. So just explain your, your thinking behind it. I think uh, the idea was originally suggested by Darren, but we've got a mutual friend through a rugby club who's actually a metal fabricator. So we could actually move forward with the idea of getting something made to be able to compete in the marathon as it's the first year it's been allowed. Yeah, I was saying that a few years ago you asked to do this, didn't you? Didn't you? But it, 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 was, it was turned down. So do you know why that change of heart? Why the change in thinking? Any idea? Well, I'd say we don't know specifically why the change. We first um, came up with the idea in 2016 and it was a no, no then. Um, however, um, finding out it was possible this year just meant we uh, went for it. And so really lucky to get one of the 10 places that are available for it. Um, and it was a pleasant surprise when we got that news and uh, suddenly became uh, a bit of a reality. And why is it important for both of you to be there? On the day of the marathon, I think it's knowing how uh, supportive the IPF were to me when I was injured as the RFU Injured Players Foundation. Um, I've done many things with them. There's a retreat weekends where you can take part in activities and I went along on a, sk a skiing trip with them as well. So the support offered um, when I realised I had opportunity to raise some money and give something back to that charity, I was w w very willing to w want to do it. So talk us through since your injury in 2011, what has life been like and how much have you needed that support? Um, from the very moment of the injury, it was in January, so I was taken to Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham and the IPF were in contact with my family through the rugby club. So they were helping support uh, travel up from Hertfordshire at the time, um, which enabled them to be with me through the whole of the first period where I was still in ICU. Um, and then after two, week, two months there, I was moved down to Stoke Mandeville in Aylesbury the rehab hospital for a year, uh, roughly a year there doing rehab in learning more so than physical rehab but learning about living a life with a spinal cord injury and it's, you go through all sorts of patient education and that allowed me to go back out into the community uh, within a year I had started back at work part-time two days a week and then I slowly ramped that up so I'm now doing 20 hours across the week and Darren as a member of the extended family, you must have been really proud watching the recuperation and the determination. Is, is that why you decided to join the team? Well, definitely. Um, Gareth's mindset throughout has been fantastic and that's kind of an inspiration in itself because obviously this is a life-changing injury, um, but he's made the absolute most of it wherever possible. Um, and it's little things like this that can do to kind of obviously support Gareth so he can have these kind of experiences, but then obviously helping back with the charity who support him so much um, is brilliant. And that's where, say, so this is a, just a small thing that I can do in the big picture. You say it's a small thing, Darren. Um, we're just looking at images <laughs> now. I mean, it's an incredible achievement for both of you to be able to get around uh, that course. Um, how do you train? What is the training like? And what do you do differently versus running, a, you know, a regular marathon? Well, and up until a week or so ago, it was just normal training, getting the mileage in, whatever the weather. Um, however, since uh, Matt managed to get us the chair, we were able to go on some test runs. So I substitute, uh, substituted uh, Gareth for my son. Um, we did a little half marathon yesterday, and that was very enlightening. It's very different. Um, obviously running with one hand on the chair at all times is very different. Any incline is suddenly so much harder. Um, and I'm very glad we fitted brakes because otherwise we'd be losing control going down some of the hills. I was thinking about going downhill. <laughs> 
Do you always feel safe there, Gareth? Uh, generally, yeah, I've got <laughs> used over the years with different wheelchairs, just little things like going down what they call drop curbs that still seem to always have an inch drop down at the very bottom to the road anyway. So you get used to almost being thrown about in the kindest, kindest sense. <laughs> And how did you pick your team? Because you've got four people will will push for the for the duration of that course. Is that right? How did you pick your four? Um, well, Darren actually works with a guy called Richard Pepper, who I played rugby with at Stratford upon Avon, and he's currently the head coach there. So that was an instant connection between the two. And then the third participant is uh, my friend Florent Vialen, who moved over here from France a bit well, many years ago, and I used to play in the second row with him for the club. And the final uh, participant is Wendy Woodhouse, a lady I work with uh, over in Stratford-upon-Avon with NMV Mutual Insurance, and she's been running marathons and being uh, very fit and healthy for most, all of her life, I should say. Um, and I know how much she enjoys these things, and I know her so well, I definitely wanted her to be part of the team as well. It sounds like an amazing team you've got around you um, and also it sounds like the rugby community has really lent their support so a fantastic cause that you're raising for. We wish you the best of luck and uh, hope to check in with you after the big day. Good luck. Thank you very much. Brilliant, thank you. Uh, London Marathon, Sunday, April the 21st. Good luck to them.